If you use the Vimeo software to do your live stream and discover they keep cutting off or anytime you go live on the software, your system keep hanging or lagging or keep giving you one issue or the other. Let me show you how to find the perfect setting on your own system that works both from the low end to the high end PC and it will work perfectly fine for you too. That you could use to run a smooth live stream on the Vimeo software. All of this is what I'm going to be sharing with you in today's tutorial if this is your first time of coming across the channel i'm both and remember to smash the subscribe button below turn the notification bell and give the video a thumbs up if you find it helpful and without any further delay let's dive in straight to the tutorial <laughs> First off, hop over to the Vimeo software, click on the setting here beside the stream. You have the stream button and the setting icon beside it. Click on that. And once you've done that, you're going to see this here on the destination. Click on that. And you have the custom RTMP server. You also have the Facebook and some other ones as well. Now, here's the most important part. This place where you have the policy, click on it. And you're going to see Facebook already have some outlined quality for you that you could use. Now, those quality might not be suitable for your own system, depending on the type of PC that you're using. Now, how do you find the one that is perfect for you so that when you start your live stream, your system don't lag and it does not cut off? Now, let's go ahead and quickly fix this. And the first thing you're going to do is to check your internet upload and download speed. Now, how do you do that? Go over to this website here on the screen. It's called speedtest.net. I'm also going to drop the link in the description of this video. And when you get to the web page, click on the go here where you have go, click on that and just give it some seconds for it to load. Now, one thing to note, very, very important is this upload speed here or rather than this download speed here sometimes may not be accurate because your network provider might tell you 16. Meanwhile, it doesn't support up to 16. It might be six. So it's always very important for you to check it, but don't be deceived by this number because it's not always accurate. Now, when you've checked your download and your upload speed, what next do you do is to hop over to this web page here. This is the YouTube web page where you get the suggested MPPS that you should be using on a particular resolution that you decide to make use of. Now, if you're going to use 4K as your resolution, the MPPS that you recommend the minimum and the maximum. Because a lot of you think because my internet um, upload speed supports 16, uh, that means I can use 10, I can use 20. No, here's we want to go run through the breakdown of the supported Mbps by YouTube based off of the resolution that you choose to make use of. Now, over here, you're going to see 4K. It says minimum um, Mbps should be 10 and then the maximum should be 40. Okay, and then the recommended is 35. Now, if you decide to do the 2K, the minimum mbps is 6 and then the maximum is 30 the recommended is 34 now if you decided to do uh, 1080p 60 fps the minimum mbps is 4 you can see here now the maximum is 10 the recommended is 12 now if you decided to do 1080p 30 fps now the minimum is 3 the maximum is 8 and the recommended is 10 now if you decided to do 720 the minimum is three, the maximum is eight, and the recommended is six. Now, if you decided to do 720, 30 FPS, the minimum is three, the maximum is eight, and the recommended is four. You can see here, very, very important. You should just keep it between four, five. It should be within the range of four to eight, but they recommended four Mbps. Now, how about Facebook? And let's go over here and take a look at Facebook. On the Facebook one here, you have the 1080p. If you're doing 1080p 60 FPS, the recommended um, bitrate is between 4 to 9. And if you're doing 1080p 30 FPS, they recommend 3 to 6. You can see here, this is the Facebook one. And if you're doing the 720, the recommended is 2 to 6. And if you're doing the 720 30 FPS, they recommend 1500 to 4. And when you go over to YouTube, the YouTube recommendation for 720 30 FPS is 4. So meaning they are both within the same range. And when you've gone through this, there are other factors that comes into play, which is the kind of system that you are using. Now, I know a lot of people will be like, Facebook recommended 4, and then the YouTube also recommend 4. Now, I want to use that 4 for it, and I want to use 720 30 FPS. Now, and my system is still lagging. What is actually the cause of the problem? And that is because even with this recommendation, your system has a major role to play in all of this. Paul, how do I find the recommended setting for my own system? 
And here is how to do that. Now, over here on the quality, you could see here, they have tons of recommendation for you. And don't forget, we've been able to establish that the two platform support for MBPS, meaning you could increase, you could decrease, you could also use their recommendation, which is the four MBPS. Now go ahead and click on the settings here, over here on the settings. And once you're done, this is what it's going to look like. Here, my first recommendation for those on high end or, you know, very strong, high performance PC. Here's my first recommendation. You could also go ahead to, you know, have this clean and nice live stream. So this is my recommendation here on the screen. And here's my second recommendation. You could also go ahead and take a picture of it. This is what I recommend that you also try out as well. And here's my third recommendation. So for those on the low end PC, you could also go ahead and try this out. So this should work perfectly fine for you. And if after all of this, you are still experiencing lag on your live stream, what you should do is go ahead and reduce the video bitrate. It means that it's not able to handle the 4,000 video bitrate. So you should go ahead and reduce it. I know, it reducing it to drastically uh, reduce the quality of your live stream. But your network is not able to handle the workload. So just go ahead and return it down a little bit. So maybe something 3,000, just test 3,000, 3,500, you know, 2,500. You know, just test between this range and it should work perfectly fine with your network. But if you want to increase it and your network is fluctuating, change that particular network and get something suitable for that particular environment where you are doing your live stream from. All right, now here is one thing that you need to pay attention to, and that is this total number here at the bottom of the screen. And when you are using the settings that I just showed you, the pictures that I displayed for you, Here's one thing that you need to pay attention to. So if you use the first one, pay attention to this. If this keep clocking 100, 100, 190 something, it is something, it means that your system is not able to handle that. It's very, very important. It means that your system is not able to handle it. Okay. And if you use the second settings and keep clocking 100, it means that your system is still not able to handle it. And if you use the third one and your system is still clocking 100, please go ahead and pack up that particular PC and change it. All right please go ahead and change it and it's very very important you need to pay attention to this because a lot of people don't pay attention to this when they just use any settings i recommend this and let me apply it pay attention to this number here okay you pay attention to the gpu memory the cpu vmix and also the total number and this tells you how the software is performing on your system the lower the number the better for you the higher the number you know it's actually going to disturb you because if the number clocks 100 or 80 or 90, it means your system, your PC or the VMware software is going to lag. You're going to experience a lag and your, your streaming is going to keep fluctuating. So always pay attention to this number. It's very, very important. If the number is low, you shouldn't experience anything as lag. So, you know, it's very tiny. A lot of people don't actually see it or don't, don't pay attention to it. Is one key thing that you need to pay attention to whenever you want to use the VMI system or any system at all that you're installing the VMI system software on. Pay attention to that number. And whatever the number it gives you, when you run your first test, it means it basically explains if you should go with that or if you should change it. So thank you very much and see you on the next one.